you want to learn Morse code and decode a ham radio signals? Then stay tuned, I'll tell you how. Welcome to the Ham Radio Junkie with me, Keith. This is part 8 in our Learning Morse Code series. I'll leave a link in the description below to the others in this series so you can go and visit those and learn Morse Code. So far, we've concentrated on learning all of the letters, all of the numbers and the full stop. We've had recaps on these and today we're looking at call signs. To become proficient in Morse Code, you do need to practice almost every day. And there are a number of opportunities around in the outside world that enable you to do this. For instance, road signs, number plates, house numbers, they're all opportunities for you to practice. However, concentrate on driving rather than learning Morse if you're looking at road signs. So, let's look at some random call signs. You can write them down after listening and then we'll compare at the end and see how you got on. So stand by, here they come. Thank you. 
Okay, so take a break if you like. If not, here's what we sent. From the top left hand corner, working down the page to the bottom right, the call signs I sent are as follows. Don't be alarmed if you didn't get them all, but by now hopefully you're getting more right than you're getting wrong. So at the end of this lesson and the end of the series, you've learned all the letters, all the numbers, the full stop and had a practice at call signs and plain text. So well done. I hope you found this series enjoyable and this video entertaining. If you do, then give me a thumbs up. It lets me know that the content I'm producing is okay. Consider subscribing and that way you'll get informed of other videos that I produce. So, my name is Keith, my call sign is G0FEA and I'm the Ham Radio Junkie and I'll catch you next time. <laughs>